Good evening, I'm Catherine Dorsett. Topping our news, a grass fire burned about 70 acres of land southeast of Ulm this afternoon. No one was injured. It took crews from three departments less than an hour to bring the blaze under control. Officials say someone accidentally ignited the fire with a branding iron or a torch. The wind then quickly spread the blaze. Quick thinking by a worker on the ranch may have prevented the fire from spreading even further. Officials say he used a tractor to dig up a fire break. Well, it would have been a lot tougher if Blattner Construction wouldn't have had a grader and a bulldozer here to cut a line around it. We'd probably still be chasing it. Well, in medical news, Nestle is recalling two and a half million cans of baby formula. The company says the product may not have been properly sterilized. The recall includes the 13-ounce cans of Good Start, Follow Up, and also a concentrate baby formula. The products were sold nationwide. No illnesses have been reported. The internet is used for just about everything from buying books to tracking the stock market. So why not make it the one place people go to register to vote? Mary Norton has more on a website aimed at doing just that. Well, finally tonight, where is the hottest and the coldest place to live in the United States? Well, Weatherwise magazine says Death Valley, California had the nation's highest temperature 86 times in 1999. Death Valley also scored the year's highest high, 123 degrees on July 1st. The lowest low was 43 below zero, recorded January 1st at Tower, Minnesota. Thank you for making News Channel 5 your choice for news. We'll see you tonight at 10. The Disney movie Suspect Behavior is next.